Back, well, there's a new study being touted by Fidelity Investments that found that Americans have significantly improved how well prepared they are for retirement. Despite saving, that same study found that half of the people surveyed are at risk of not having enough money to fully cover essentials in retirement. So here's what the senior VP of retirement at Fidelity Investments had to say about the survey and putting away enough money for later. Take a look. When we look at the results, we are very encouraged to see that people have made a lot of progress over the last 10 years in terms of getting themselves ready for retirement. America's retirement score is an 80, which is one point short of what we call the green zone. And when you're in the green zone, you can cover the majority of your essential expenses, which are the must-haves in retirement as well as some of the discretionary expenses, which are the nice to have. So we're getting much closer to being in uh, the green zone. What's really surprising is that whether you've saved enough or haven't saved enough, people are unsure of whether or not they're where they need to be. And so it keeps coming back to helping people really understand how much they need to save in order to live the kind of lifestyle that they need to. So great progress, uh, but still more for, for people to do. Uh, try try to paint the picture for me because I'm trying to understand when you say you know the result the, the score was an 80 I, I don't know exactly what that means tell me what that number 80 means you know try and paint a picture of is that really enough or what type of person sure. are we looking at below and above that yeah so what the score of 80 basically means is that you're on track to cover about 80 percent of the income that you'll need uh, to live in retirement now keep in mind um, your retirement income is going to be based on a number of different sources it's going to include social security it'll include a pension for some folks uh, maybe some working income but the majority is going to come from your savings and so a score of 80 or you know 81 if you want to uh, get into the green zone essentially means that you're doing a really good job of being able to cover the income that's going to come from your own personal savings all right all right i'm starting to get it um and we've heard recently in the last uh, couple of months here and more and more this it seems like it's not there's no way this could be true millennials actually are are good at saving and they're ahead they're catching up to generation x well based on the study results the millennials are doing a great job of saving they're saving in their 401ks they're saving in IRAs, particularly in Roth IRAs. So they're doing a terrific job of saving. And it makes a lot of sense if you think about, you know, what millennials sort of saw and experienced uh, coming out of the recession back in 2008. You know, they saw parents and family members really kind of struggling as they approached retirement. So they're definitely a saving generation. However, there's one thing that we do see in the results that millennials could do a better job of which is making sure that they're leveraging the right asset classes for those savings. So in other words, great job saving, but there's room to improve the way they're investing those savings. All right, uh, you talked about it before, you know, you're 80, you'll have 80% of the, what you need when you retire. How do, I, at any age, how do you know what you're gonna need? I'm 43, I'm, I don't know in 20 years what I'm gonna need at retirement. Sure. Well, there's a number of rules of thumb, and they're just starting points, so, so it's not your personal answer. But as a rule of thumb, a couple of things. Number one, assume that you'll need 85% of your current income in retirement to live a desirable lifestyle. Another way to think about it is, okay, that sounds great. How much should I actually be saving on my paycheck? And a target rate should be 15%. That's a lot of money, especially when there's competing demands and you've got a lifestyle that you're trying to live now and perhaps some other short-term goals that you're saving for. But you really should be striving for 15%. Even if you were to increase your savings rate by 1%, say $50 more a month, in retirement, that could potentially be another $250 of income in retirement. So those are two ways to think about it. All right, all right, I love it, love it. Learning something from you, Ken, I appreciate it. Um, but where, uh, where can our viewers and myself go to really dig into this report and this information? So if you wanna really dig into the report, or actually more importantly, if you wanna get your own personal retirement score, go to fidelity.com slash score. Okay, you can get a personal uh, score for yourself. You'll also find out what steps you can take to try to improve that score going forward. And that was Fidelity Investments brought you that great retirement information.